need my help with this? Yeah, I'd, I'd really like you to help me if you can. Well, all right, I mean, it's just props in a box, right? I mean, I know the story. You'll do fine. All right. Today we decided to tell the Bible story at the end because of the subject matter. And uh, it's kind of hard to do, and yet it's so important. So I asked Tony if he'd come out here with me and help me. And so as, as I share the Bible story with all of you, he has some props that he'll hold up and might help you understand the story just a little bit better. Yeah, just props and box. No big deal, right? That's right. So if you remember, last week, after Jesus was betrayed by uh, Judas, he was betrayed by him for 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of silver. See? No big deal, Pastor Norm. Hey. Mm, this is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would enjoy that. And um, after he was betrayed and he was arrested, Jesus was brought in front of the high priest. And they kept trying to find evidence to uh, give reason to put him to, to death. But you know what? They could not find that evidence. Yeah, they made up lies about Jesus. I thought that he was rooting for Kentucky in the NCAA tournament. No, no! Liar! Liar! Ah! Well, finally, the high priest flat out asked him, Are you the Messiah? Yeah, and Jesus made it real simple for him. And when he said that, the high priest called it blasphemy. And they sent him to Pilate, a Roman governor. Not that kind of pilot. Oh, sorry. Well, when Jesus got to Pilate, Pilate couldn't find any reason to find Jesus guilty. He even tried to get Jesus to explain himself, but Jesus wouldn't speak. So Pilate gave the large crowd of people that had gathered the opportunity to free Jesus. They could either free Jesus, or they could choose Barabbas, a murderer. And my friend, surprisingly... The crowd chose Barabbas. It is in our best interest to free the murderer, not the super cool guy who's super cool to us. Final answer. Yeah. Well, Pilate asked, then what shall I do with this king of the Jews? Do I have to? Yeah, unfortunately you do, Tony. Crucify him. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. The crowd of people wanted Jesus to be crucified. So, so Jesus was whipped and he was handed over to be crucified. And the soldiers put him in a purple robe and, and they placed a, a crown of thorns on his head and they made fun of him and they, they said this, Hail, King of the Jews. And Tony, do you think we can stop now? I, I think everybody's kind of got the point. Well, it's at this point that they, they led Jesus to the cross. But Tony, I'm really sorry. We, we, we can't stop now. I know it's very, very hard to do this. It's, it's hard for me, but Tony, Jesus didn't stop. He didn't even say much. But I know it's hard, buddy. Hey, listen, we're going to get through this together. You and I can do this. We practiced it. We know what to do. It'll be all right. Well, then at noon, then at noon time, darkness came over the land until three in the afternoon. And Jesus breathed his last. And amazingly, at the same time, the, the giant curtain that hung in the temple, where, where people said that's where God dwelt, that very veil that curtain, the Bible says, was ripped from two in two, from the top to the bottom. And you know, there was a Roman centurion who was standing near Jesus. And, and when Jesus died, that centurion witnessed it. And, and he said, surely, this man was the Son of God. And Tony, that's it. That's the story. Whoa, whoa, what? You can't stop there. I mean, uh, there's, then there'd be no hope. I mean, that everybody just leaves and everybody's gone. I mean, 
I mean, that would be like ending the Star Wars trilogy with Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I understand. And glad you mentioned that, though, because just like those movies, I'll leave you with three words that will make you feel better. What's that? To be continued. You see, Tony, those movies really had it together because they understood what was needed. And we had to go through this because without this moment of amazing sacrifice, nothing would have really mattered. When Jesus died, he did it so that we could live. You and I could be forgiven of our sins. I mean, as a matter of fact, all these boys and girls, all these men and women, all these grandmas and grandpas could be forgiven of their sin when they merely turn to Jesus. You know, that's really neat. But next week, the story will be continued. And it's an ending that gives us all hope. Well, I just have one question for you. What's that? How am I going to wait till next week? <laughs> you know, I uh, I wouldn't mind if you read ahead just a little bit. As a matter of fact, just have this thought. Mom and Dad, this would be a great week for you to turn in your Bibles to Mark chapter 14, Mark chapter 15, and read ahead with your children. Sit down, maybe around your dinner table or bedtime or whatever, and read the Easter story. But share it with your children. Oh, that would be wonderful. That maybe, would be exciting. Maybe not at bedtime. <laughs> okay, I can concede. Maybe not at bedtime. But nonetheless, to be able to sit down and to honor Jesus is what's really needed. You see, Jesus put us first when he died on the cross, so we have to put him first when we tell his story, Tony. And that's what's so important. But for what it's worth, I'm glad that you stuck with it, my friend. And, I, and I'm glad that all of you have heard it as well. And, and I want you to know that the, the best is, is going to happen. As a matter of fact, I want all of you to come back next week because you're going to hear the most amazing, triumphant story. And in turn, it'll change your life. Well, hey, thanks, Pastor North, for having me sit through this. You know, I can't wait until next week. Yeah, well, you've done a great job. I, uh, I just was thinking to myself, wow, it really is going to be continued. As a matter of fact, though, Tony, why don't we, as a group of people, just pray before we conclude? That's a good idea. Okay. Would you join me as we pray together? Heavenly Father, as we bow our head before you, we want to thank you. For what you have done for us. You gave us your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, this has been a very difficult story to tell. About the crucifixion of Jesus. He willingly went to the cross for my sin. For the sin of the entire world. But I want to thank you, Father. You have forgotten us. Jesus didn't either. And so the best of the part of the story is yet to come. Next Sunday, it's Easter Sunday. And next Sunday, we are going to proclaim He is risen. Oh, I can hardly wait. But thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending your Son to die on the cross for every one of us here this morning. Matter of fact, for the whole world. Lord, we love you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tony, you did a great job. Thank well, you, my friend. Thanks, Pastor Norm. I can't wait till next week. Yeah, I can't either. Matter of fact, I'll see you there. Matter of fact, I'll see you there, too. <laughs>